has just received a limited research day event and today we will check out how this Pokemon performs in the Gold Battle League in the Great League. Alright, so hi hi to all of you guys! So yep, this is the Galarian stun phase that I have obtained since 2020. I believe this was during Gold Fest and I caught it from the WoW where it was available during the Gold Fest itself. And in order to get for yourself a better PvP IV, you either have to get it from the wild during certain events or in fact a trade from a friend. So during the recent limited research event, you could only get minimum IVs 10, 10, 10. In order to get it lower than that, you have to trade with someone who's either good friend or great friend with you to get something like that. But of course, if you are super duper lucky enough to trade yourself with someone who has no friendship with you and get yourself zero attack and high defense and high stamina, well, that's even better. Alright, so I'm um, going to use it in the Great League and the moves that we are be using, I'm sorry, I forgot to show you guys uh, over here, is um, Much Shot, Rock Slide and Earthquake, the usual one. Alright, and uh, Galarian Stun Fist has been around for quite a while and has been a very very good Pokemon to use in the Great League. This is the team I'll be using, Galarian Stun Fist with Medicham and also Toxic Packs. So a lot of people like using this, in fact it was used in some of the tournaments and in fact uh, during the World's Championship, um, a lot of top players actually do use this particular Pokemon. It's ranked 2 in the Great League behind of Registeel with Zap Cannon. And uh, you guys will see why because it's just super duper tanky. And yeah, my opponent also using Galarian Stun Fisk here right now. Alright, so um, in this situation, you can actually choose to um, bait with the Rock Slide or go with Earthquake straight away. I'm gonna go with Earthquake straight. Okay, he uh, wants CMP time. I'm gonna let this go through, thinking that it could be a Rock Slide bait. Alright, can see that clearly he's uh, okay, it is a Rock Slide bait. His defense is slightly lower as his health. The health of the Galarian Stun Fist is slightly lower than mine already after doing just a few mud shots, meaning I'm doing one extra damage per mud shot. Alright, great, we're gonna farm down the Galarian Stun Fist now. One more mud shot should be enough, and great, it is down. Um, Yeah, okay, Galarian Stun Fist is just too OP, guys. We won with only one Pokemon. Haven't even used our shoes yet. Okay. Um, Galarian Stun Fist, please, uh, don't be so strong, okay? We need to show them Medicham and also Toxic Packs. But yeah, you guys can see how strong a Galarian Stun Fist is. No, I mean, uh, probably the next two Pokemon are like Altaria and even something that speaks to Galarian Stun Fist. Alright, so uh, even in this situation right now against Noctower, we do fare re relatively well, alright? Against a Lantern, the only problem is that the Surf will do super effective damage to us. I'm gonna switch into my Medicham, do one counter damage first. Alright, let the Surf go through, saving the Rock Slide for the Noctower later on. Alright, it's okay, not to worry, we're gonna go ahead with uh, Psychic straight away. And uh, knowing that he has Noctower, of course my Medicham wouldn't fare too well against it. So I technically can just sacrifice the Medicham, not even gonna use any shields unless I really need to. Alright, going with Thunderbolt, doing a slightly more damage, great play by my opponent. Let's go ahead with Psychic, let's see if he's gonna shield this or not. If he does not shield this, I can potentially farm down if I invest one more shield. Alright, decided to shield that. And uh, we're gonna carry on with that, carry on with that. It's okay, not to worry. Okay, so, uh, I mean, the last Pokemon could potentially be toxic. I mean, it could, could be uh, Galarian Stun Fist or so. Alright, we're gonna bring in our Galarian Stun Fist. And then uh, we're gonna go with Earthquake Straight. Let's see if our opponent is gonna shield this or not. Okay, so this is how good Galarian Stun Fist is. First of all, it is super duper tanky. And second of all, the moves <coughs> that it has is just relatively good. Although, um, I don't think it requires any improvement for the moves. For now, especially having access to Mud Shot, the fast move, it just charges up energy super duper insanely fast. Alright, we're gonna go with an Earthquake. I mean, it's Medicham, which is not good for us. Ice Punch is coming through. Now, Toxic Pax needs to handle this situation by itself. Literally by itself. Okay, so we're gonna go with Earthquake and let's see if our opponent is gonna shoot this or not. Bring in Toxic Pax after this. Yep, we're gonna bring in Toxic Pax right after this. Okay, decided to shoot that. Bring in Toxic Pax and Toxic Pax, you need to save the day. Toxic Pax, you need to save the day. Alright, um, we're gonna have to shield up against whatever move that comes in. It's a good thing that he kind of changed into uh, Noctowl 
knowing that I have to shield everything. Otherwise, I might get baited by the power up punch. Okay, we go with one sludge wave turn. First, since he's out of shields, I almost wanted to just put my finger in the middle of the screen, thinking that it would do the same like uh, the fire type charge move, but no, you can't do that. You have to go ahead to swipe. Okay, we're gonna see if we can actually farm a little bit more. I think I'm gonna totally farm down the Knock Tower. Alright. Totally farm down the Knock Tower. And then uh, use the Sludge Wave onto the Medicham right after I'm able to. Okay, great. Going with uh, Sludge Wave straight away. And probably go with a Brine also because I don't foresee I can get to another Sludge Wave before 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 a psychic comes before before a psychic comes through before all right um i mean i'll still survive his psychic from the amount of health that i'm seeing on my toxic packs so we should be good and knowing oh he has ice punch all right so my toxic packs is in good condition then we can actually just go with another sludge wave now even if we don't um get to another sludge wave like i say if i use brine and then he actually farms us down with the counter um, eventually, he can't do anything to my um, Galarian stun phase since he only has like power up punch, and I believe I can get to another rock slide to take out the Medicham anyways. Although it will resist rock slide, but still, it will still go down by the rock slide after it's gotten hit by a brine and a few more poison jabs. All right, so going to the next battle right now, and uh, you guys can see that I've not been playing Go Battle League consistently. I only show content on Go Battle League for this entire season because I've just been too busy grinding uh, for uh, Candy X and doing other stuff. Alright, got a very good lead again against the Noctower. Alright, I remember Noctower has Shadow Ball which would do uh, neutral damage to our Galarian Stun Fisk. Alright, let's go ahead to uh, go with our very first Rock Slide. And this would do a good amount of damage to the very very tanky Noctower. Yeah, Noctower is really really tanky so hence, you know, doing this amount of damage is actually relatively good. Okay. Gonna go with another rock slide. Oh wow! Very good switch into the Galarian stun phase. I must give it to my opponent. And now I'm gonna definitely have to pull a switch into my Medicham. Alright, so Medicham will go ahead to annihilate the Galarian stun phase. So that's one of the biggest threat that uh, Galarian stun phase would face. Of course, it's also weak to fire, water, and in fact, fighting and ground. I'm thinking if I like to shoot this though, it could be a rock slide bait. Okay, it's earthquake. Ouch. Okay, not to worry, not to worry. Let that go through. Okay, we're gonna go with ice punch now. Saving a second ice punch for the knock power. And uh, hopefully uh, he doesn't get to another earthquake in time. Alright, should be able to take it out before another rock, uh, earthquake comes in. This will be rock slide, which then uh, we will be able to handle that with ease. Alright, Rock Slide, surviving that, and then he's probably going to bring in Knock Tower to try and farm me down, so I would definitely just continue to spam the Ice Punch straight away. Alright, Ice Punch activated. We need two counters to get to another Ice Punch, which hopefully we should be able to survive the wing attacks that are coming in right now. Okay, Medicham is really a champ, oh my god, we're left with one sliver of health, just one more wing attack away from being taken out, and we got to another Ice Punch, great. Alright. And now I'm thinking, should I farm down the uh, Knock Tower? And the Knock Tower has a lot of energy though, a lot and a lot of energy. Alright, I'm gonna try and farm down the Knock Tower. Although I do not know if that's the right choice to actually do because uh, <laughs> it's gonna take a while to farm down the Knock Tower. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this with the first Shadow Ball. I might let the second move come through though. I might let the second move come through. Okay, I'm gonna let this go through. Farming up a little bit more energy first before I consider if I'd like to switch into Toxic Packs. Alright, you guys can see how tanky Galarian Stun Fist is. We're gonna bring in Toxic Packs, try and farm down the uh, Noctowl before another charge move comes in. Great. Now let's see what's the last Pokemon and it is going to be Lantern. Alright, so since it is Lantern, we have two options. One is to sacrifice our Toxic Packs, which is what I'm gonna do. Alright. And we have energy for a Rock Slide already. I'm gonna let this go through first. Thunderbolt, okay. And then he's probably going to um, not shield this. High chance he's not going to shield this. I'm probably going to go with double rock slides later on. Might be enough to knock out the uh, lantern already. Yeah, might be enough to knock out the lantern after doing that. Okay, he's trying to farm up a little bit more energy, I suppose. So, okay, we're going to go with Brine. This will be enough to get it down to very low health. That Then I can bring in my Galarian Stun Fist and just farm it down. Okay, shields out. Rock Slide ready, definitely ready. Okay, we have one shield left, so we can shield up against whatever that comes in. We're gonna go with Rock Slide. 
and just a uh, shield up against whatever that comes in. Shielding up against this is probably going to be Surf and then going with another of my charge move and we should be good. So um, that's how fast you know Galarian Stunfist can charge up his energy especially having access to Rock Slide you just need 5 much shots to get to a Rock Slide and it's just insanely quick to get to it. 8 much shots to get to an Earthquake and you guys can see that against something like a Flying type Pokemon like whatever that you know, still would resist, which is a lot of typings that it resists. Still resists a total of 10 typings, which is the most ever in the game. Fire resists 7, so that's pretty insane. Alright. So, um, let's go into the next battle right now. We got matched up against uh, Sheya Gao. Alright, almost the same uh, rating as me though. 2177. Alright, we got Slow Bro. Galarian Slow Bro to be exact. Is it Poison Jab though? Okay, it is Poison Jab. We are in a very, very good situation now. Trying to recall what moves does Galarian Slowbo bro, 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 bro have. Okay, we're gonna go with Earthquake. Okay, we got just lost CMP time. I'm trying to recall what moves this particular Pokemon have. What was the comm day move against Surf? Alright, it was Surf. I'm gonna let this go through. Oh. No freaking way! No freaking way that just happened! Holy crap! I mean, I'm saying that we survived that. Alright. Okay, we, we, we are not in a very good situation now. Holy crap! Wow! I am very impressed. Okay. That was a very surprising focus blast. Okay, bringing in Registeel now. Very good uh, for us, I guess. Wow, my heart is racing like crazy now. Since we are in this situation, and crap, I should have tapped on the Psychic earlier. We're gonna have to shield this. We need to keep our Medicham. To handle the Galarian uh, slow bro, oh my god, my attack fell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Brandon, focus. Should have used this psychic earlier, so you do slightly more damage. Okay, okay, this is really, really, really tense. Okay, this is gonna be really, really, really tense. Yep. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna totally farm down the uh, Reggie Steel. Okay, this is really worrying, guys. This is really, really worrying. I might have to try to do something really interesting, which is to try and catch the move on my Toxic Packs from the Galarian Slow Bro. Okay, we're gonna go with Psychic first. Okay, let's see if my opponent is gonna shoot this or not. Even if I do switch into that, we wouldn't be in a good situation also, right? Okay, doing that first, and then defense fell. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. That wasn't good for us. I was going to go with Ice Punch, so I should have gone with it immediately, alright? It's Surf. And then uh, we're going to go with uh, Ice Punch. I should have farmed a little bit more energy though. I mean, it's double resisting fighting. Oh, we just have to pray the last Pokemon is Azumario. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Okay, let's go with that. I still can't believe I got Focus Blast. I really forgot what moves does the Galarian uh, Slowbro have though. Oh my god, no, we do not have a very good, good, good situation now. We are not in a very good situation now. And yes, my attack has fallen. Yes, I know that. So I'm thinking, guys, if I should just switch into my Toxic Pack straight away so that I can do a little bit more cheap damage once my attack fallen uh, debuff has been removed. Alright, we need two Earthquakes to get hit by two Earthquakes from the Galarian Stun Fist to get taken out. Okay, let's go with one Brine. I do not know, guys. I really, really do not know, guys. I really do not know, okay? It's not looking good for me. It's not looking entirely good for me. I need to get to another charge move. Whether is it on my Toxic Packs or my Medicham. Okay, this is very, very tense. Medicham, we need you to handle... Oh my god, no. He's going to use another charge move. The earth, the, the, the rock slide faster than my, me getting to... Um, yep. Very well played by my opponent, but she showcased how a Galarian Stun Fist can actually save the day and take out basically two of your Pokemon if you actually timed it wrongly. But seriously, guys, I can't believe I got Focus Blast by that. I really cannot remember what the moves are. I mean, I thought it would have a poison type move and surf, you know. But uh, this opponent really surprised us with the focus blast. Boom. Alright, so let's go into the next battle. And this is going to be the last battle. And uh, let's see that. We got matched up against Frostlass. Okay, Frostlass in this situation looks pretty alright. 
Uh, what I mean by that is that our Rock Slide will do super effective damage to the Ice Typing of Frostlust. And Frostlust doesn't do super effective damage to us at all because uh, Ice will be neutral. Likewise, for Ghost Typing move, we will also be neutral. Alright, I mean, Ground suffers super effective damage from Ice, but still resists Ice. Alright, so uh, we're going to slowly um, get to another move. I'm going to let this... Uh, should I let this go through? Should I let this go through? I mean, uh, I can let this go through for now. Saving the shield for later on. Alright, Shadow Ball is going to come in hard. It's very, very... Oh, wow, wow. Very good switch. Alright, so now that it has switched into Obstigood, it's time for Medicham to come in to have some fun. Since it's going to be double week to fighting. Hi! Alright. So I'm just going to totally farm down the Obstigood. Prepare for the next Pokemon that comes in, which I believe should be the Frostlust. And now that I have two shields left, we should be relatively fine. Against Frostlust, if you're out of shields, it's basically GG. It's going to be super duper painful to fight against that particular Pokemon. Going to go with Ice Sponge, thinking that I might be going for a Psychic and she will actually sacrifice a shield. And the answer is yes. Alright, great. My opponent used the shield and we're going to slowly chunk away the health from... The Frostlust, I would have to shield this now because either a Shadow Ball or an Avalanche would do a lot of damage. But of course, in this situation, you would definitely want to go with Shadow Ball since that would do super effective damage to our Medicham. I need to get to another Ice Sponge because another Charge Move is almost ready for the Frostlust. Alright, and hopefully it's enough to knock it out. Yes, it is. And the last Pokemon is going to be Galarian Stunfisk. Everybody is using Galarian Stunfisk. And when you have a Medicham on your team, you are going to fare relatively well. But if you're going to have a Toxic Pax, you're going to lose it totally. Alright, so that is the last battle that I have to show to you guys. And my bag is totally full because I am the big fool over here. I need to clear my, my item bag. Alright, great. Yeah, stocking up more balls because uh, we're going to have to grind a lot more during this era claiming a battle rewards because we got Scraggy. Alright, so that is how Galarian Stunfist uh, is and uh, it's really a good Pokemon to actually use in the Great League and also the Ultra League. Like I said, if you actually manage to get yourself one for the Great League with, uh, you know, PvP, IV, slow attack, high defense, high stamina, great. Whereas for the Ultra League, you want to get yourself a Hundo, like what I got during the Galarian... Uh, I mean, the stun phase limited research there, I got myself the Shando and maxed it out immediately and it'll be used for the Ultra League. I would really suggest you guys to actually get this particular Pokemon and it's really, really, really strong and really, really tanky. Alright, so that is all that I have to show to you guys in this video, man. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching me showcase how Galarian Stun Fist perform. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely remember to leave a like on the video. Much appreciated. Thank you very much and I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Alright, Galarian Stun Fist, it's time to say goodbye. Hopefully, we will see you at GoFast again. A lot of people like to catch you to get a better PvP Great League IV one, okay? Alright, so goodbye, goodbye, goodbye!